Hello everyone, welcome to Natty's Home Cooking. Today we are going to be making chicken tamales. Um, and as you all mostly know that chicken tamales kind of takes all day to make. Um, it involves with corn husk chicken, the masa that you make, um, and then you have to steam them. So um, as I go along making this, uh, these tamales if you guys have any comments just be you know just leave them down in the comments and I'll try to answer them the best that I can and I just want to say thank you all for supporting me being there for me and subscribing to my channel it means a whole lot to me and you know I, I kind of doubted myself I'm doing this YouTube stuff because I just didn't think it would you know work and but I'm really really glad that I have because I've met a lot of really nice people out there they're very supportive, kind. Um, so I just want to say thank you for helping me every step of the way. Um, and uh, and when I also when I do make my videos with my recipes, just to let you all know that I'm usually doing a double batch, just because I have four guys in this house, and I have three big boys. You know, they're 20 up, and my husband and so and myself so we kind of do a double batch of everything but anyway thank you guys for everything and you all have a wonderful day and god bless I shredded all the meat, added onion, added jalapenos. Next, we're going to be adding garlic, salt, pepper, cumin, and a little bit of uh, probably chili or taco seasoning to this uh, mixture so that it gives it a good flavor inside for the filling. And we'll also add some cheese and potatoes to this. All right, thanks, guys. And we're also going to save this uh, chicken broth for the um, masa that we're going to be using which we'll be using this masa here and then we'll we'll add um, the chicken broth to this so that we can I'll show you how to do everything but yes we're going to be using this okay we're going to add two teaspoons of garlic powder give it some flavor and we're gonna do chili powder. Start off with one. Okay. Then we're gonna add some cumin, ground cumin. Let's start off with one right now. And we'll just taste it here in a second, see if how it tastes. Okay, and then now the gar uh, the salt we're going to add let's try two teaspoons maybe just one let's just do one and a half i don't want to overpower with salt so let's do one and a half teaspoons of salt now we're going to add some pepper we'll do half a teaspoon of pepper Now I'm going to add some paprika, just a little bit, because I need to add it into the masa as well. So we're going to just do a half a teaspoon of paprika. Okay, let's mix all this together. My chicken's a little, little dry. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a little bit of chicken broth just to this to give it some moisture. 
and we're going to use the chicken broth that we just used from the cooking the chicken so do not drop do not empty that chicken broth all right there we go we need to add a little bit more We're gonna add a little bit more, another half. There we go. Yeah, that's better, way better. Gives it some moisture to the chicken and it's easier to mix too, with all those seasonings in there. Okay. I'm gonna try a little piece. Mmm, that's really good. Very, very good. Good flavor. All right, so this is done. And before we, when we get ready to start adding this to our tamales, we'll add a little bit of cheese in here and mix it up really, really good. Sometimes I do potatoes. I think I'm gonna leave the potatoes out this time. You can add potatoes to give it a little bit more of a um, filling in here but I have a lot of chicken from just that one whole chicken I just cooked. So we're gonna just add cheese to this later. All right, now we're gonna start our masa. Okay, so you start off with the big bowl. I'm actually, let's, before we start this masa, what we're gonna do, we're gonna soak our corn husk because you need to soak this corn husk. And what I do is, let me show you real quick. I just drop a, a, a sink full of water, warm water, I use one. And then I place my corn husk in here and then just soak and I'll put a heavy bowl on top of it so that they still stick down into the water. And it makes it easier for whenever you get ready to um, put the masa down and on top of them and start rolling. It makes it easier to do that. Okay? And here's the corn husk I use. I use these here. And they are Fiesta brand. And I'm going to use the whole six ounces because, like I said, I've got a lot of chicken. And I'm going to make a whole batch of these and just freeze them. Right. See how stiff they are? We won't be able to roll these if we just don't soak them so you have to soak these and these little bitty ones what i like to do is use these for strings to wrap around your um, tamale so we'll go over that in a little bit and i'll show you what we're going to do okay so what i'm going to do is soak, soak these in here just like so give them a good dunk And I use warm water, hot water is fine too, so. They're already softening up. What I do is, I do this. No, I haven't water that. Okay. Okay, we're gonna let those soak for a little bit. And in the meantime, we're gonna make our masa. If we need more, we'll just go ahead and I'm not going to add all these yet. I was going to, but I think we got a lot in there. Okay, guys, we're going to start on our masa. We're going to use the corn masa flour. And because I like this one better, it works better.
two and a half teaspoons of garlic, two and a half teaspoons of salt. And I've added eight cups of masa. Okay, now we're gonna do one teaspoon of paprika. Two teaspoons of cumin. We're gonna add some chili powder. I'm only gonna do one teaspoon of chili powder. This gives it a little extra flavor. Now I'm gonna tell you guys my little secret here that I'm gonna do. When we do the chicken to give it that better flavor inside the tamale, we add baking grease on the grill to give it more of a better flavor to the tamale. That's our secret. Okay, now I'm gonna just sprinkle in some black pepper. Just give it a little all around. Okay. Now we're gonna add shortening. Okay, now the shortening that we're gonna use, we are not using oil. We are gonna use this type of shortening. So and it looks just like that. Okay, we're going to do about two cups and a half. So I may have to get the other container out to do this. All right, I'm going to save my container because um, when I finish it, I always add the leftover grease that's bad from cooking other things. So. I just save this and use it one cup a lot of people do this differently and some people do it the same I don't know but this is how I make my tamales I've done it for 20 some years now so and I, I really like it this way I lived in New Mexico for 16 years and um, it's an all day process so that's why you know when we did do it uh, we, there was a lot of us women that would sit and do it all day and make a whole bunch of this and they were so good but that's, how, that's how I learned how to make tamales homemade tamales okay and add just a little more extra all right now we're gonna mix this all together the probably the easiest way to mix this would be um, using a blender which is what I'm gonna do um, if I do this I'm mean, gonna could do it by hand and but it just gets really messy at the end I will use it my hands to do that but right now I'm gonna use a blender Still a little dry, so we'll um, we don't want it too wet because we want to be able to, you know, make a spread it out on the corn husk like so. So we're gonna add a little bit more. Everything around it smells so good. Okay, now it's kind of getting there a little bit better. Okay. All right, I think it looks good. That'll spread out evenly on the corn husk really, really good. All right, now if it feels dry to you, just add more uh, broth to it. And if it feels too uh, 
Runny add more masa. So, my son grilled the chicken out on the grill and it tastes so amazing. Wow, it's so good. All right. Okay, now we're gonna bring our, see how much better they are. They can, we can actually roll them and fold them and stuff. Be perfect. So these came out really good. They soaked for about 30 minutes. Okay, little ones like this, these, what we can do, take them apart. We'll make like little uh, strings for these so that we can tie our tamales with. Now, why I'm uh, trying to get everything prepped and ready, I'm going to go ahead and let these soak just a little bit so they don't dry out. These are our strings that we're going to be using. And I'm going to put these back in the water until I get ready to make them, and then I'll just pat them dry whenever I get ready to add the masa. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I like to save my chicken broth after I cook chicken and can it, and it's it stays forever. It's really, really good. Um, I use a lot of chicken broth in a lot of stuff, so um, you can even use this in soups that you make or you know you're cooking but I saved my chicken broth okay so in order to steam our um, tamales what we're gonna do we're not gonna lay them inside here I'm gonna take this little steamer that I have or the strainer that I have place it upside down and then I'm gonna place all my tamales all around it and then steam my tamales in my instapot so that's how I'm gonna do this as you can tell this is kind of a big um, corn husk. What we can do is we can tear it down the middle and use this part and this part, which is what I'm going to do, so that we can make two of them out of here. All right, now what I'm going to do is dry off just a little because I don't want it too wet when I put that masa on. Here we go. Let me get two little strings. One for this one and one for this one. All right. Now we take our masa. Now if your masa does not form like it should, you definitely need to add a little bit more broth. Mine's doing really great. Um, this is how I like mine. Um, I don't like it. I don't like it too runny, and I don't like it too thick either. So I think it's perfect. Now what we're going to do? We're going to add a little bit of cheese into the chicken. Can you guys see? There we go. All right, now let's get to the good part. All right, here we go. So you don't want to overload it too much. There we go, just like that. And I always take the ends and just fold it up like that. Take your little string. Tie it. That's, this is how it's supposed to be. Just like that. Perfect. Look at that. Nice. All right. There's our first one. Okay. We're going to add another one. Mm -hmm. 